Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Firebase Releases Deep Dive. My name is Rosario, and today I want to show you how to use the new Firebase extensions with the Gemini API. Before we jump in, there are a lot of releases this month, and if you don't know about them yet, take a look at the February release notes video where Puff talks about all of them. Alright, now let's quickly recap what Gemini is. Gemini is a family of generative AI models that lets developers generate content and solve problems. These models are designed and trained to handle multiple types of inputs such as text and images. There are multiple tools to help you build applications with this model. There's a REST API. There are SDKs, which you can learn more about at ai.google.dev docs. And there are new Firebase extensions. For example, there's the multimodal task with the Gemini API extension and the build chatbot with the Gemini API. In this video, I'll be covering the multimodal tasks extension. Let's dive into it. This extension allows you to perform generative tasks on text and images using the Gemini API. The cool thing is you won't have to write a lot of code. All you need is a custom prompt and Firestore. Whenever you add a new document to the Firestore collection, this extension will first replace any variables from the document into the prompt. It will then call the Gemini API to generate a response based on the prompt. And finally, it will write that response back to the document. Let's see it in action. I've got a web app that I want to enhance so it can generate poems about a topic the user provides. I'll head over to Google AI Studio and try out a simple prompt to generate poems. How about this one? Gemini generates a poem for me, but it looks too long. I prefer a shorter poem, so I'll update my prompt to say, use three verses and run it again. Ah, this is much better. Now that I'm happy with the prompt, I want to use the prompt for my app. But first, let me get an API key by clicking Get API Key and selecting my Firebase project from the list of projects. Now I'll head back to the extensions page and click on Install. This will take me to the Firebase console where I will pick my Firebase project. Note that extensions can only be installed in projects in the Blaze plan. This is because Firebase extensions use Cloud Functions and these require a billing instrument. After carefully reviewing all the required permissions, enabled APIs, and billable Firebase services for this extension, I can now configure it. I'll paste both the API key and the prompt which I copied from Google AI Studio. And I'll then update the prompt to replace the parts that users should be able to change. So this becomes topic and three becomes length. Notice that handlebars are used to indicate variables. Finally, I'll pick a location for the deployed cloud function. All the other parameters are optional, so I'll just continue with the defaults. To test the extension, I'll create a new collection in Firestore named Generate and add a document with the two variables for my prompt. For the topic, I'll say Roses and for Land, let's say Four Verses. As soon as I add the new document, some metadata fields appear. These tell me the status of the generation. Once the model has finished generating, the extension writes the model's response to this output field in the same document. Now that I know that the extension works, I'll update my client-side app to call the extension. I'll use the Firestore JavaScript SDK to add a new document with the fields topic and length. And then attach a snapshot listener to that same document to be notified when the output is generated. Note that we used an open text field for this app, but this opens up an infinite number of prompts that the user could input and sometimes maybe generate unwanted responses. To make sure users are not typing unwanted prompts, we could maybe limit the input to only allow a maximum of two words per topic, or even replace the text field with a drop-down menu with a list of pre-created topics. We've linked in the description a list of responsible AI practices recommended by Google. If you want to go even further, there's another extension called Build Chatbot with the Gemini API to help you build apps that keep track of conversation history. To learn more about this extension, check out this article on the Firebase blog. Puff and Noe show how to build a conference assistant with the Build Chatbot with the Gemini API extension. And you will also learn how to use the multimodal tasks with the Gemini API extension to automatically generate all texts for images. Pretty cool! I've linked the blog post, the documentation pages, and the Firebase extensions I mentioned in this video in the description below. If you want to always be on top of the latest Firebase releases, subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more AI features. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.